Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Only Life PT. My name is John. I'm a beer instructor today. Please remember this is a workout class, not a rehabilitation class. If you experience pain throughout any exercise, stop that exercise immediately and simply wait for the next one. I will give different modifications as we go. Please choose the modification that's right for you. Modification number one being the easiest. We have several exercises with our head and shoulders up off the mat. This is to strengthen the deep neck flexors and improve our posture. If you experience stiffness or pain in the neck, you can place one hand behind the head or simply put your head and shoulders back on the mat. Pilates is not a competition, so always work within your own limits. I will demonstrate the exercises. Please do them along with me to help speed up the class. So jumping into Pilates. Um, we'll just go over the basics quickly and then get into it. So laying on your back, knees bent up into 45. Knees and feet hip width apart. Neck long and flat, chin tuck, shoulder blades tucked under. Now we're just going to find neutral spine. So this is where we have a nice natural curve in our lower back. So you can place your hands on your hips and then rock your hips forward and back. And you'll feel the increase of curvature in your spine and then it'll decrease. Mm. Wait, let's jump on the UJ. So we want to have a nice natural curve in our lower back. So you should be able to put one hand through the gap and it should be nice and little. So when we rock our hips back, we force our lower back into the mat and bring our legs up in the tabletop. This is to, in, this is to increase the pressure on our lower back and make it safe when we start doing exercises in tabletop. So you should force the lower back into the mat, suck the tummy nice and tight. So bring the feet back onto the ground and then rock the hips forward, neutral spine. So we'll just go over the breathing and then get into it. So breathing is in through the nose, fill the rib cage. And as you breathe out, we want to squeeze the T-zone. So it's short for transversus abdominis and the pelvic floor muscle, which holds our intestines up. So when we activate it, it's the same sensation as stopping yourself from going in the bathroom. So inhale through the nose, fill the rib cage. Start your exhale. And then squeeze the pelvic floor, activate that muscle nice and tight. Continue to breathe out the whole way through. And then relax, breathe in. Fill the rib cage, breathe out. Squeeze the pelvic floor and squeeze it while you continuously breathe out. Last one, breathe in. Fill the rib cage. Start breathing out. Squeeze the pelvic floor and hold it nice and tight. And relaxing. So now we're gonna get into our workout. First ones are just activating of the T zone while we move our leg around. So the first one we'll do is simple bent knee fallout. So neck long and flat, chin tuck, shoulder blades tucked under, neutral spine. Inhale through the nose, fill the rib cage. As we let one knee fall out towards the side of the room. Pause, breathe out, squeeze the pelvic floor and draw the knee back to vertical. Inhale, swap sides. Let the knee fall out towards the side of the room. Pause, exhale. Draw the knee back to vertical as we squeeze the pelvic floor down. Inhale, swap sides. Pause, exhale. Squeeze. So keep going at your own pace. I'll go through the concentration points. So we're moving the leg within the hip joint. We let the leg fall out as far as we can without letting the hips rock around. Relax the body, let the knee fall out. Pause, squeeze the pelvic floor, draw the knee back to vertical. Last one, inhale as the leg falls out. 
Pause, start your exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor down and up, draw the knee back to vertical. And resting. So the next one we're gonna do is lift and extend, warming up the T-zone. So arms reaching out towards the back of the room, shoulder blades tucked under, neutral spine, chin tucked. Inhale through the nose, fill the rib cage. Start your exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor, then lift the left leg up off the mat and kick it out towards the back of the room as we continuously squeeze. Inhale, swap sides, fill the rib cage. Exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor, lift the leg up and kick it out towards the back of the room. Inhale, swapping sides. Exhale, lift up the foot, squeeze the pelvic floor, kick it out towards the back of the room. Beautiful, keep going at your own pace. Check out your posture, go through the concentration points. Toes pointed, reaching out towards the back of the room. Inhale, full body relax. Start your exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor, then kick out towards the back of the room. Hello, Indy. How you going? <laughs> Beautiful. Last one, guys. Inhale, exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor, lift and kick. Continuously squeeze out the whole way. Inhale, resting. Full body rest. So now we're gonna get into the workout. We'll start with the abdominal curls. Modification number one, feet stay on the mat. Modification number two, rock the hips back. Imprinted spine, legs up into tabletop. Choose the modification that's right for you. Hands come in a lace behind the head. Simply holding the head up. Inhale through the nose, fill the rib cage. Start your exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor, then curl up ribs to hips, chin tuck, looking down towards the belly button. Curl up as high as you can. Inhale, lower back down. Fill the rib cage, but don't rest the head and shoulders. Exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor, curl up ribs to hips, looking down towards the belly button. Inhale, lower back down. Beautiful. Concentration points. If you're up in tabletop, force the lower back into the mat first, and then knees at 90, shins at 90. Try and keep the elbows nice and wide. Go up a little bit higher, Jody. That's it. And lowering back down. As you breathe out, scoop the abs, squeeze the pelvic floor, and then curl up. On this last one, we'll hold the extension. Hold the extension, then breathe in through the nose, fill the rib cage. Exhale, curl up a little bit higher. And lowering back down, head and shoulders back on the mat. Hands on the knees, knees back on the, feet back on the mat. Beautiful, so now we're gonna go into bicycle legs, working the abdominals. So the setup, neck long and flat, chin tucked, shoulder blades tucked under, rock the hips back, imprinted spine, legs come up into tabletop. Inhale through the nose, fill the rib cage. Exhale, curl up, ribs to hips, and then chin tucked. As we kick out one foot towards the back of the room, draw the opposite knee towards our chest. Inhale, swapping sides. Exhale. 
squeeze. So you can place one hand behind your head to support the head and shoulders. Beautiful, keep going at your own pace, I'll go through the concentration points. Toes pointed, reaching out towards the back of the room. Only lower down that leg as low as you can go with keeping an imprinted spine. So baby steps, you only kick out little. Still draw the knee towards our chest. More advanced, we lower it down as we squeeze. Three more. And resting, hands on the knees, head and shoulders back on the mat, coming into full body rest. You can rock the knees out side to side if you like to stretch and lengthen the lower back. Beautiful, next one, side obliques, working the side obliques. <clears throat> Modification number one, feet stay on the mat. Modification number two, we rock our hips back, force the lower back into the mat, legs come up into tabletop. Choose the modification that's right for you, hands interlaced behind the head, or simply hold the head up. Inhale, through the nose, fill the rib cage. Really important, breathe out, squeeze the pelvic floor, then curl up opposite shoulder to opposite hip. As we look towards the side of the room, Inhale, lower back down, but don't rest the head and shoulders. Exhale, curl up, opposite shoulder to opposite hip. Inhale, lower back down. So keep going at your own pace. Check out your posture, go for the concentration points. Kylie in the lounge room, morning. If you're in modification number two, which we all are, perfect. Force the lower back into the mat. Try and twist through the thoracic spine. The lower back stays dead still. Use your breathing to curl you up, ribs to hips, looking towards the side of the room. That's it, beautiful. So knees at 90, shins at 90 if you can. Let's do two more. Exhale. Curl up a little bit higher. Last one. And lowering back down, coming to rest. So we're just going to take it nice and easy this morning. So we're going to roll over and start the glute series. So rolling over onto the side. The set up, bottom hand out nice and straight. Look over your bottom, feet are directly underneath your bottom. Head resting on the arm, knees that bent up into 45. Take the top hip, push the top hip away and you can shimmy your body in a little bit if you like. So there's a massive gap between the waist and the mat, neutral spine. Take the top hip, top knee, push it forward so we only activate the glute muscle. So the first thing I'm going to do is clam kick out. So inhale to open the knees, elbow, uh, feet stay together. Exhale to kick out towards the back of the room. And then a little extension at the very end. Heels together, knees close at the end. Reset, relax the body, inhale to open. Exhale, breathe out, squeeze the pelvic floor. And then a little extension behind the body, hips stay dead still. Heels together, knees close at the end, reset. Keep going at your own pace. Concentration points. We keep the leg and knees at hip height. 
hip stayed dead still, top hip pushed away. As you breathe out, squeeze the pelvic floor and squeeze the glute harder and harder at the end. So really push the top hip away to maintain neutral spine. Hips stay dead still. Exhale, kick out. And then extension. Backwards, Jody, not so much on an upwards angle. Last one all together. Inhale to open, exhale, kick out. Extension behind the body, activate the glute. Heels together, close the clam. Give it a little bit of a warm up hit. Beautiful. Reset. We're going to do rectangles, working the glute muscle. Feet directly underneath the bottom. Top hip pushed away. Top knee comes uneven. Hip comes forward, yeah? Inhale through the nose as we reach out the top leg towards the back of the room. So we're going to sweep forward and up, doing half the rectangle. Inhale, sweep forward and up. Exhale as we sweep back and then down. Feel the glutes activate at the top corners. Inhale, forward and up. Relax the body. Exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor back and down. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale. So we're moving the leg within the hip joint. Hips stay dead still. We're drawing a massive big rectangle with our toes on the back of the room. At the top corner, you'll feel the glute activate. This is perfect. Last one, we'll change directions. Exhale, back and down. Forward and up. Stop at the top corner. Reset. Top hip pushed away, neutral spine. Inhale, down and back. Exhale, up and forward. Reach the toes out. Inhale, down and back. Exhale, up and forward. So really lengthen through the whole leg. Keep the top hip pushed away. Top hip dead still. We're moving the leg within the hip joint. Feel the muscles start to shake. Two more. Last one. Exhale, up and forward. And coming to rest. Woo! So we'll do one more this side. And we're going to do bicycle legs. Working the glute muscle. Fine tuning. Top hip pushed away. Top knee comes forward uneven. Inhale as we reach the top leg out towards the back of the room. Toes pointed. Reset. Inhale, knee to chest. Kick with the heel, sweep with the toe, hold the extension at the end, activate the glute, inhale knee to chest, kick with the heel, sweep with the toe, reach through the leg, activate the glute the whole way along. So the hip stays dead still. You notice when I bring my knee to chest, I don't, I don't lose the control of neutral pelvis. Move the leg within the hip joint. And as I kick with the heel, I squeeze the, the hamstrings, activating the hamstrings. As I breathe out, I squeeze my tummy and my pelvic floor the whole way. One to go, last one guys, inhale, knee to chest. Kick with the heel, 
sweep with the toes, hold it, hold the extension, and then activate the glutes at the end. And resting. Woo! Let's roll over and stretch out the glute, and then we'll swap sides. So right leg over left knee. Hands reaching through the knees, curling up hot ribs to hips, grabbing the back of the hamstring or the back of the knee, lengthen through the shoulders, shoulder blades down and back, chin tucked, and then slowly lengthen. <sighs> Trying to get the head and shoulders back on the mat, but the pain in the glute is always too much. But <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> Pull the knee towards our chest. Once you get your head and shoulders back on the mat, two or three big deep breaths. Exhale, pull, pull, pull. Inhale. Exhale, pull, pull, pull. Last one, last chance. Exhale. And releasing. Swapping sides. First one, clam kick out. So feet bent up into 45, look over your bottom, feet are directly underneath the bottom. Take the top hand, push the top hip away. See the massive gap between the waist and the mat. You can shimmy the body in a little bit to help. Take the top hip, top knee, push it forward so we only activate the glute muscle. First one is clam kick out, working the glutes. Inhale to relax the body, open up the clam. Exhale, kick out towards the back of the room. Full extension. And then behind the body, activate the glute. Inhale, heels together. Knees nice and wide. Exhale to relax. Reset, inhale to open. Kick out. And then a little extension. Heels together, knees closed. So concentration points, keep the top hip pushed away and forward. As you reach out towards the back of the room, stretch through the toes. And then a little extension, activate that glute. Heels together, knees nice and wide. Exhale to reset. So also concentration points. As you breathe out, squeeze in the pelvic floor muscles. Same sensation as holding a cheeky fart. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Let's go for three more. Leg stays at hip height the whole time. Inhale to open, kick out, squeeze. Last one all together, reset. Inhale to open, kick out towards the back of the room and then behind the body activate the glute muscle. Squeeze, 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 heels together. Knees nice and wide, exhale to close. Give the glutes a bit of a warm up hit. Helps to activate all the muscle spindles. Reset, take the top hip, push it away. Top knee comes forward. So we're doing rectangles on the back of the room. Inhale as we reach the leg, top leg out towards the back of the room. Reset, inhale, sweep forward and up. Exhale, back and down. 
We're moving the leg within the hip joint, forward and up. Exhale back and down. So as you kick back and down, activate the glute muscle, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale to relax, forward and up. So we're moving the leg within the hip joint, hips stay dead still. Top hip stays pushed away to maintain neutral spine. Toes pointed, reaching out towards the back of the room. Last one, we'll pause at the top corner. Hold the extension, reset, reach out through the leg, through the toes. Inhale, down and back. Exhale, up and forward. Inhale, down and back. Try and relax the body, exhale, forward and up. Inhale, down and back. Squeeze the pelvic floor, squeeze the glutes. Last one. And resting, feet back together. Last one on the glute series. Bicycle legs, work on the glute muscle. Take the top hip, push it away. Inhale as we reach the top leg out towards the back of the room. Reset. Reach the toes out towards the back of the room. Then inhale, knee to chest. Kick with the heel. Sweep with the toes. Then hop extension at the ends. Inhale, knee to chest. Kick with the heel. Sweep with the toe. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, relax. Kick. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Extension. So we're maintaining hip height the whole time. As we sweep the leg, the leg stays that hip height off the mat. Hip stays dead still. If the hips move around, move the leg a little bit smaller as we bring knee to chest. Inhale, kick with the heel. Feel the hamstring activate, sweep with the toe. Two to go, inhale. Last one, feel the burn. And resting. Ooh, a little sucker. So rolling onto your back, stretch out the left glute, left leg over right knee. Neck long and flat, chin tucked. Reach through the knee. Grab the back of the hamstring or the back of the knee. Lengthen through the shoulders. Shoulder blades stay down and back as we try and lower the head and shoulders back on the mat. Breathe in, breathe out. Relax the body. Trying to get the head and shoulders back on the mat. Chin tucked. So breathe in, reset, breathe out, pull, pull, pull. Breathe in, breathe out. Shoulder blades down and back, last one, breathe in. Shoulder blades down and back, chin tucked, breathe out, pull, pull, pull. <sighs> and relaxing Woo. so rolling over to the back series strengthening our back improving our posture the setup laying down on your belly 
Legs deactivated. Forget about your legs. <laughs> so take the hips, rock the hips forward and back. Push the pubic bone into the mat. Suck the abdominals up. Lengthen through the head and shoulders, arms reaching out towards the back of the room. So the first one we're going to do is just simple trap activation. So all we do is tuck our chin, nose touches the mat, and on the exhale, we force the shoulder blades down and back. Nose stays on the mat. Inhale, shoulders touch the mat. Exhale. Shoulder blades down and back. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, lower. Exhale. Shoulder blades down and back. So concentration points. Every time you lower down, reset. Suck the abdominals up. Pretend that there's ice under your belly button. The nose stays touching the mat. We're moving the shoulders within the shoulder joint. Keep squeezing the glutes. Keep squeezing the pubic bone into the mat. Let's go for two more. Last one. And resting, head to one side, relax the glutes, give the body a bit of a shake out. <laughs> so the next one I'm going to do is extension, reverse hundreds. So palms face down, Pubic bone pushed into the mat, abdominal sucked up, inhale, tuck your chin, nose touches the mat. On the exhale, we're going to curl up ribs to hips as we reach the hands out towards the back of the room and then we start pulsing. Inhale through the nose, exhale. Squeeze the pelvic floor, squeeze the glutes, chin tucked. Lengthen through the neck, back of the neck. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Lengthen through the shoulder blades, the whole way through. Lengthen down and back. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze the glutes, pelvic floor, push the pubic bone into the mat. Let's go for two more. Exhale. Last one, chin tucked. Exhale, lengthen through the arms. And lowering back down to the mat. Relax the body. Give it a little shake out. So we're going to do two more. They're both going to concentrate on the mid-back and the triceps, everyone's favourite. So flight, working the triceps and the back. Set up. Legs deactivated, forget about the legs. Push the pubic bone into the mat, rock the hips, suck the abdominals up. Inhale, tuck the chin. And on the exhale, we're going to do a back extension. <sighs> As we rotate the hands, thumbs face the ceiling. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, lower back down. Shoulders touch the mat. Exhale. Thumbs rotate outwards and squeeze. So neck long and flat, chin tucked. It's not so much of a back extension, but it's more of a rotating of the shoulders. Thumbs rotate, as we exhale, squeeze them around, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. 
Every time we lower down, suck up the abdominals, reset. Two more. Squeeze those triceps, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Last one. And resting. Head to one side. Shake out the body a little bit. So we're going to push back into child's pose and then come into tricep push-ups. Push back into child's pose. Feet together, knees nice and wide. Walk the hands out. Lengthen through the shoulders and then lower the bum back down to the mat. And give the spine a little bit of a twist side to side. My back is squeaking like it's frozen. Need some lube. Come in up onto the hands and knees. Tricep push-ups work in the triceps. Everyone's going to do modification number one with me. So hands directly underneath the shoulders. Knees, hip distance apart. Neck long and flat, chin tuck. So we're going to walk the knees back one big step. Hands come in a little bit closer, elbows face back. So we're going to inhale down, nose touch the mat nearly. Exhale, push forward. And then a massive big oval circle, push back up, extension. Back stays nice and straight. Inhale down. Elbows go back. Push forward and then push back up using your triceps. Oh yeah, they like it. Inhale down. <laughs> Elbows straight back. Push forward, push up. You can walk your knees in two centimetres if you like. Inhale down. Push forward, push up. We're nearly surfing on the board, Jody. Inhale down. Exhale forward. So really concentrate on your breathing. Let's do two more. Inhale down. Exhale, squeeze. Last one, guys. Inhale down. Forward. And then up. And relaxing. Sit on the knees, shake out the hands. So we're just going to stretch out the muscles that touch the pelvis, improving lower back pain. Pushing up onto both knees at 90, one knee at 90 on the mat, the other one at 90 in front of us. Hands on the hips, rock the hips forward and back. So this is like lordosis, bad for your posture. Tuck the bum under, we have like a nice flat back. So hold the bum under, then push forward, stretching out the quad on this left side. Hands rest on the knees, relax the body, relax the head and shoulders, chest, inhale, exhale, keep pushing forward under the bum, bum towards the opposite knee, elbow. Inhale, relax, exhale, push, push, push. Beautiful, come back upright a little bit, hands reach up towards sky. So we're gonna twist over the knee that's up in the hand. So my right hand grabs my left hand and I twist through the eyes, through the upper back and then through the lower back as I push forward on the quad again. So you should feel this deep into the abdominals now, stretching out the psoas muscle. 
Eyes look around, body will follow. Right hand pulls the left hand around, pull, pull, pull. And resting, uncurling, lean slightly forward and then grab the ankle to bum. You can wiggle it around a little bit, help it get a nice good position on the mat and then start pulling ankle to bum. So you can stay leaning forward but you can push back upwards. If you can, both hand reaches around. If not, that's okay. Inhale, exhale, relax. So now we're gonna kick the foot into our hand for five seconds. Kick, 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 kick. This is gonna activate the quad and tell our brain that we can move. Relax, inhale. Exhale, pull, pull, pull. Relax, kick, 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 kick the foot into the hand. Relax, inhale, exhale, pull, pull, pull. Huge amount of difference when you do it like that. Arm curling, sweeping around towards the computer, coming into side squat. Roll the ankle around, forward and back. Can sort of twist through the lower lumbar, twisting the leg within the hip joint. And then we're gonna lean down on a 45. Back stays nice and straight. Gonna squat down on a 45. Inhale nice and tall. Exhale, stretching the hamstrings and the inner adductors. And swapping sides. Knees at 90. Hands on the hips, rock the hips forward and back. Take the bum, tuck it under. Hold that position and then we push forward with the glutes. Stretching out the quads. Relax the head and shoulders, the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Sink forward. But we're stretching from the front of the hips here. The lower back. Back stays nice and straight. We don't sink forward with the body. Keep the back straight. We sink forward and stretch out the quads. One last one. Pushing back up, hands reach up to the sky. My left hand grabs my right hand, reaching over and twisting over the knee that's up in the air. Eyes look around, body will follow as we lean back forward. So we're trying to twist all the way up into the rib cage, stretching the psoas muscle. Twist and push forward, eyes look around. Twist and push forward, eyes look around. And changing. Facing forward, lean forward if you can. Ankle comes to the bottom. Roll that knee around, get a good position. Pushing back upright. Try and relax the body, but the quad that we're trying to stretch, yeah? Deep breaths. Now we're gonna kick, tell our brain to kick the foot into the hand, activate the quad. So as we sit down in the car, as we sit down in the office, the hip flexors and the quads get tight and pull our hips down and forward, improving putting pressure on our lower backs. 
relax, inhale, exhale, pull, pull, pull. Oh yeah, feel that. Relaxing. Kick, kick, kick. Kick the foot into the hand. Kick, kick, kick. Relaxing. Inhale, exhale, pull, pull, pull. Pull that ankle past the bum if you can. Change. Foot comes back to the mat and sweep back around towards the computer. Come into the side stretch. So in this position, like you want to lock the elbow into the knee, push it out, and then we roll the ankle around. You can even roll the hips around a little bit. Stretch from the hips, then through the ankle, lengthening the hamstring. Inhale nice and tall. Exhale, bend through the hips and lean forward on a 45. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, sink back down. And resting. Welcome back, y'all. Someone jumped on yesterday. Who was trying to jump on at six o'clock? Who was? Someone did. Oh, I had my dates. Like I said, oh, Tuesday, hey. but I said, and um, uh. we went out to the glow worms, the back of the Gold Coast. And Jess's car broke down this time, and luckily we, oh. we had the tent, we had the wraps, we had everything we needed to stay the night because we we're going to walk in and, and then just walk up the stream and stay in the bush. <laughs> so we ended up oh. sleeping in the bush, but like, yeah, 20 k's prior before the glowworms. 